Beans Baker, number five, by Richard Torrey. The first game of the season was only three days away. Coach Munhall was handing out uniforms. Beans could hardly wait. All spring, he had dreamed of wearing number 21, just like his hero, the great Roberto. Coach Munhill held up the number 21 jersey. Here I am, shouted Beans. But Coach Munhill handed it to Sheldon. There must be a mistake, Beans said. That's my number. No, said Coach Munhill. Here's your uniform. Beans looked at his jersey. Number five? It can't be. Everybody knew about number five. It was the number that wrong way Haskins wore. Haskins hit a home run in his very first game in the majors, but he ran around the bases in the wrong way. Knowing he would be teased, he quit baseball forever. Haskins quits after he runs bases the wrong way, it says in the headline. Hi, Beans. Make sure you don't put the jersey on the wrong way. Get it? Sheldon snickered. <laughs> this is terrible, groaned Beans. I'm going to be laughed out of town. It's just a number, said Coach Munhill. The next day at practice, Beans tried to hide his number by wearing his jacket, but it kept getting in the way. It was his worst practice ever. Oops, there goes the ball between his legs, and ooh, he struck out. <laughs> hey, wrong way. Let me show you the right way, said Shelton. And at the crack of the bat, he hit a pitch out of the park. Reminds you of the great Roberto, doesn't it? Beans told his friends he was thinking about quitting the team. But you love baseball, said Lindsay, almost as much as me. Bean shook his head. I can't play wearing number five. It's just a number, Chester reminded him. It's wrong ways number, said Beans. I might as well be wearing number 13. Hey, that's my number, said Chester. Oh, sorry, said Beans. Beans didn't go to the next practice. I'm not feeling well, he told his mother. He wasn't really sick, but when he thought about wearing number five, he did feel a little queasy. And in his mind, everybody was laughing at him while he struck out. Swoosh, ha, 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 ha. At practice, everyone wondered where Beans was. We can't let him quit, Chester said to Lindsay. How can we stop him? I have an idea, said Lindsay. Here's the plan. After practice, Chester and Lindsay stopped at Bean's house. Guess what, said Lindsay. We're quitting the team too. What, said Beans, why? We don't want to get teased, said Chester. With these glasses, who knows what the other team might call me? Four eyes, goggle head. Gogglehead, said Beans. There's no telling what kind of teasing a girl catcher might get, said Lindsay. Better safe than sorry. Right, Beans? Wrong, shouted Beans. Who cares what the other team says? Chester, your glasses help you see the ball better. Lindsay, you're the best catcher in the league. And you love baseball almost as much as me. You guys can't quit just because people might laugh at you. You're making a huge mistake. I think you just talked us out of quitting, said Lindsay. I think I just talked myself out of quitting, said Beans. It worked, shouted Chester. I mean, see you at the game, Beans. The next morning, Beans and his family arrived at the field just as the game was about to start. You're late, shouted Sheldon. Did your dad go the wrong way? Coach Munhill made Bean sit on the bench because he had missed practice. He told him to stay ready. 
Beans watched as the other team went ahead two to nothing. Then in the bottom of the ninth, Chester and Lindsay both got hits. With two outs, everyone was counting on Sheldon to hit a home run and win the game. Come on, Sheldon, Chester yelled from second base, just like in practice. Only this time it's for real, added Lindsay. Sheldon's knees started to knock. Even from the bench, Beans could see his face turning white. All of a sudden, Sheldon fainted. He fell on top of the catcher. Rip! went Shelton's pants. Beans, you'll have to bat, yelled Coach Munhill. Now batting, Beans Baker, number five, said the announcer. Beans family cheered. Yeah! The other team laughed. Number five? That's wrong way, they shouted. Beans stepped up to the plate. Hey, wrong way. Want a map? The catcher said. Bean swung at the first pitch. He missed, and his helmet spun around. Ha 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 ha! Strike one! Shouted the umpire. The other team laughed even harder. Look! Yelled the pitcher. He's wearing his helmet the wrong way. Bean swung at the second pitch. He missed again. Strike two, shouted the umpire. Maybe he's holding the bat the wrong way, the shortstop hollered. Beans took a deep breath and waited for the third pitch. Clip! Beans hit a ground ball. It skipped toward the first baseman. Oh, I'm out, thought Beans. But the ball hit the first baseman's knee and bounced high in the air. Run, shouted Coach Munhill. Beans was already running, rounding first base. As the ball came down, it hit the pitcher on the head and bounced toward the outfield. Keep running, shouted Coach Munhill, waving his arms like a windmill. Beans stepped on second base and kept running. The center fielder kept running, too, right into the left fielder. Crash! Chester scored. Lindsay scored. Beans tagged third base and was headed for home. The left fielder picked up the ball and threw it with all his might. Slide, Beans, slide, yelled Coach Munhill. Beans, the catcher, and the ball all arrived at the same time. When the cloud of dust settled, the umpire yelled, Safe! There was no more laughing. There were no more jokes about wrong way. Beans Baker, number five, had won the game. Ice cream for everyone, shouted Coach Munhall. Hi, Beans, said Lindsay. Sheldon said he doesn't want the great Roberto's number anymore. Everyone's calling him the great Rip Birdo. <laughs> now you can switch to number 21, said Chester. No, said Beans. Five is fine with me. Besides, it is just a number. <laughs> well, thanks so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.